After a long two hour flight, our team landed in Bangkok airport. Fresh off the plane, we were all tired and hungry to say the least. Luckily, Kevin stepped up to organize all the rides as a responsible president he is, and our personal Thai food connoisseur Marcus has selected a fabulous restaurant with all the local Thai cuisines you could imagine. Pad Thai, Sat Thai chicken skewers, Tom Yum soup, and even more. We got back to the hotel and basically blacked out the moment our head hit the pillows. Good night's sleep for the challenges ahead. Once we had successfully fought the urge to hit snooze on the 6 a.m. wake-up call, our team had breakfast and headed to Shrewsbury International School, ready for the first day of the Fabicia Student Leadership Conference. Our first event was the Race for Good, a global competition where students tackle real-life critical issues. Our leadership skills were tested as we were split into three teams with students from all around the world and took on innovation projects. Of course, all of our teams did amazingly in the presentations. The winning team was the Wild Wallet Project, with outstanding contributions from Kevin, Min, and Nancy from Year 12. Their project was launched immediately in Kanak. Overall, a very successful start. Our third day was filled with lots of inspirational talks from two amazing entrepreneurs. First off was Ms. Isabel Val, who talked about the success mindset, and how first you must be able to lead yourself, only then others, and lastly together as one. We also learned about a lot about self-confidence and how success is a personal journey. Next up was Ms. Lisa Trigail, who told us lots of stories about how she inspired lots of various communities through her method of using music for mental health well-being. And we also came out with lots of new knowledge and how to improve ourselves, not only as prefects, but also as people. And lastly, with it being our final day, we had to celebrate with lots of glam and fun at bowling and dinner, where we got to spend lots of quality time with our friends who we made along the way. This was truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and that wraps up day three. Another talk from Ms. Isabel Bell, we have learned about the difference between entrepreneurship and entrepreneurship and also various leadership styles in the 21st century. We have learned that there's a various approaches to leadership, for example, a shift from I to we through trust, or we can change our goal into from goal orientated into team orientated we, when we are more focused on our relationship with our teammates. And one last wise word from Ms. Isabel Bell. Every master was once a disaster. And yeah, and that's it. Um, that is the end of our journey to the lead Student Leadership Conference in Thailand 2023. And through this experience, we have learned a lot and meet a lot of people from different cultures with different perspectives and collaborate together for world changing projects. And it was a life changing experience and a very mesmerizing experience. Activities, I found that the race for good was the most valuable. Being able to work with other people that I've never met and work together to compete with the others with the limited time available really developed my communication skills and able to create a lot of relationships that I still keep in touch now today. But not to mention the ice cream break after dinner was my favorite moment of all. exciting and unforgettable. The reasons why I chose these words were because we were able to create a special bond that is just indescribable. And I wouldn't have been able to experience all these unique, unforgettable moments without the people that I traveled with, which also made this trip so much more exhilarating and exciting. I was able to learn lots of new leadership approaches and strategies by listening and discussing experiences with guest speakers, experts, and fellow student leaders from other international schools. This has really encouraged me to look back at my own leadership positions and how I could better manage my own team, both inside and outside the BVIS community. The 
thing that I enjoy the most from the conference is the motivational talk from Ms. Linda Cruz and Ms. Isabel Bell. So through this talk, they have given me a lot of insights upon the fundamental of leadership and how I, as an individual, can make this world a better place. Besides, I also enjoyed the food there. The food there was phenomenal and delicious. And also the fact that we have coffee break after each session also have helped me to boost my energy a lot after a very tiring day. So at the beginning, I am struggling adapting to the new environment and was reluctant to start conversation with brand new strangers. But the coaches there, they offer a lot of Good, good team building activities such as the race for good challenge which enables me to know my peers individually and form a bond with them for working professionally together. Thank you guys! For me, a good leader is someone who knows how to listen and work along with others. It is important to promote the well-being and spirit of the team to work together in achieving the best results. A good leader is someone who understands the value of others and is able to channel the positive energy into productive collaboration. For me, communication skills are always key. We are better together. A leader is one who inspires those around them, providing a guiding light for everyone else to follow through. They bring together individuals and is the key to turning a group of people into a team. A zero into a one, a one to a 100. Without a leader, there would be no innovation, no collaboration, no development, no change. And if there's no one around to be a leader, someone will have to step up. That's why it's important. Throughout the trip, I was able to explore the successful mindset thanks to Miss Isabel. The message that I want everyone to know is success is doing what you want to do, when you want, where you want, with whom you want, as much as you want. I think that good communication and being able to socialize well is a very important thing in modern society. By talking to a wide variety of people on this trip, I was able to improve my communication skills and develop connections with many amazing people some of whom I still talk to today. Being able to communicate well will define you as a strong leader. It's a skill needed to be a leader, as you have to communicate with a range of people from day to day. If I were to attend the conference one more time, I would try to be more mentally prepared for the race for good. The trip was amazing by no doubt and we gained a lot of important insights about leadership along the way. However, I still recall myself being a bit panicked the first day due to underestimating how complex and hard the workshop will be, which leads to me messing up my time management a bit. If I could do the trip one more time, I would try to not get ahead of myself and focus more on managing my workload efficiently throughout the workshop. Um, two, three. Come on, come.